Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Today we're gonna get a little, a little deep, a little serious, I guess. Um, it's just been really busy um, right now during this time of year and I hadn't really had time to sit down and really film and talk about books like I really wanted to, just trying to get all my Christmas shopping done. Just making sure like everything's done before the holidays get here, which is like I'm filming this on Friday. Once again, I've been like day to day y'all like like I just I just can't I can't get ahead of myself right now. I just I just can't do it. Um, so that's kind of what prompted this video. I've just been and this happens to me every single year. I'm well throughout the year. I shouldn't say like once a year because it happens to me throughout once throughout the year. I'm just a very stressed out, anxiety driven person. <laughs> this time of year, it's when it hits me the most. So I figured why not sit down and talk about it with y'all. Hopefully I'm not the only one out there with these same feelings, I guess. It's not necessarily a problem because I think a lot of other people do experience the same thing as far as stress and anxiety goes, especially during the holiday season. And it always hits me hard during the holiday season. Last year, I actually had a very bad episode that ended up in the emergency room. <laughs> um, but that's a whole nother story. Obviously, I'm fine. <laughs> it was just a really, really bad anxiety attack and it happened. Uh, in fact, my husband reminded me about it not too long ago. He was like, you know, we went to the emergency room like just a year ago and I'm like, please, let's not talk about that. <laughs> I'm already stressed out. I don't want to think about what happened last year. But now that I know what was happening to me, I've never had an anxiety attack like that. I've had anxiety attacks, but never like that. I really thought something was wrong. I actually thought I was having a heart attack. My chest was so tight. I couldn't like catch my breath. Um... I, I felt tingly everywhere. It was it just affected like my whole body and I've never experienced that in my life. But anyway, my husband thank thank God he he goes through so much with me and I thank God every day for him in my life because he is the most he is like the opposite of me. He is so laid back and just he's not very patient. I'm actually more patient than he is, but He's just, he can take a situation and he knows how to handle it, I guess. I don't know. He's, he's not as like, I'm just, I'm just like anxiety driven, like all the time. Like, oh my God, we, we got to do this. We got to do that. And, and it's got to be done by this time. And, and he's like, it, calm down. It's, it's okay. We'll get it done. It's no big deal. You know? Um, so we're total opposites in that aspect. So like I said, I thank God every day for, for him. He is my just saving grace. <laughs> now I know when I start getting those certain feelings, I know how to try to control it. Um, I do have medication. I am on, this is probably, this is going into like a whole crazy conversation, but I, I do have some books I want to talk about. But anyway, I do take medication. I take medication on a daily basis and then I have medication for when I feel like I might have an attack coming on. I've been prescribed this certain medication um, for years and I've just never taken it because I just felt like I didn't need it. I didn't, I don't, I don't need that. You know, I don't. And um, when I, when I went through this experience last year, the, the nurse or the practitioner that was on staff that particular evening told me to go home, take this medicine and just get some rest. So that's what I did. And y'all, I felt so much better. Um, so it just, it just made me realize that sometimes you do need that help a little bit. You don't always need it. You know, you don't have to rely on it. But when I feel that feeling coming on, um, I take my medication. Yes, it does kind of put me down for the count. Not, I mean, it doesn't knock me out or anything, but I can usually just kind of sit on the couch and relax, but it makes you relax. It makes you calm down. It makes you just relax. Just stop and relax because I, I don't do that. I don't stop. I, sometimes I just can't control 
what's happening in my head. Like I, I have so much going on and so much that I'm thinking about. I can't, I can't like grasp a situation and just, and just make myself calm down. Like I'll just pace and pace and think and think and until, until I just can't take myself anymore. Um, but anyway, I know this is turning into um, way more in-depth information than you probably want to know about me. Um, but sometimes it's good to talk about. And I just, I just felt like I wanted to talk about it today because it's a time of the year. Not that, not that I don't like this time of year. Um, trust me, I, I love Christmas time. I love spending time with my family. Of course, we, we always spend time together. Um, we all live in this, you know, around each other. Um, so we're always getting together and which is a, another very good thing for me. Um, cause I have my brothers here with me. I have my mom and my, my mom and my dad, my sister-in-laws. Um, and they're all so just, every, everyone is, is helpful. Everyone is helpful. And I know if I have, or if I'm going through something, um, and I need someone else to talk to other than Michael, <laughs> Which believe me, he's he's great to talk to, um, but sometimes you just you just want to tell somebody else, you know. Um, I can go to them. I can go to Debbie. I you know I, I have my people. I can go to. Um, but it, my point is, it's it's good to talk about it to anyone, even if even if you have to go and seek someone else to talk to, if you have to to see a professional. Um, I've never took that path even though I probably should have. So really my point is, of all of that, is that just during this time of year, it's not my favorite. I mean, don't, like I said, don't get me wrong, I love Christmas, but just the hustle and bustle and having all these things to do, and it just, it just gets in my head. And I can't, I can't cope well during this time of year. So that kind of makes me like, not appreciate it, I guess, as much as I feel like I should. Like, I'm not all like, oh my god, Christmas is so many days. Like, I'm, I'm not that person. I'm, I'm not. Like, the, it really, and I'm one of, and, and I, you're probably going to bash me for this, but I'm one of those people that, like, get, let's have Thanksgiving, okay, before, before we start Christmas, let's let's enjoy Thanksgiving first. And but like as soon as Halloween's over with, it's like Christmas time. And I'm like, no. <laughs> let's have Thanksgiving. Let's be thankful for a month. And then we'll have Christmas. Sometimes I don't like feeling like that. Um, and I wanna be that person that's like, yay, Christmas, but I'm just not. I'm just not. And Christmas is in like less than five days. Saturday, we have, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so we have, like, about five days left before, like, Christmas gets here, but, like, my Christmas starts on Christmas Eve, and we, that's when we have, like, parties, get-togethers, and whatever, and we have, on Christmas Day, we, um, we have breakfast at my parents' house, and that I enjoy immensely, like, I look so forward to that, that, that is like what I look forward to. What I don't look forward to is just everything else about the Christmas season. Just because it stresses me out and just gives me high, high anxiety. That's kind of what I'm going through right now. Like I'm stressed out because not all my gifts are wrapped. And I'm sorry, I'm watching my brother go get the mail and it's distracting me. <laughs> I'm just watching him walk to the mailbox. And um, anyway... Yeah, so I'm not done wrapping. So like that's on my mind. It's like I can't focus on anything else because I, I want to finish wrapping gifts. And um we also have um my my oldest niece. Well, my second to oldest niece, I guess, um graduated college last week. Last weekend. Yeah, so it was last Saturday. Um and then her her boyfriend graduated from LSU today so we're having both their parties tonight at my brother's house next door so i have like an, in my head i was like okay i gotta get their gifts together i gotta get ready for this party how much time do i have before the party starts do i need anything for the party do i need to go get alcohol 
Should I be drinking alcohol right now? Maybe I should start early. Maybe I should just go fix me a glass of wine and just like chill the flip out because I'm so like stressed out today, y'all. I don't I don't know what why today, but it just hit me today. And then today I usually like I usually like to, I like to have videos out twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, or my my two days. Those are my goals. And today was the day and I didn't have any content together pre-filmed like I usually do to to put out there for y'all. And I was stressing about that. I had a earlier appointment that I had to get to today. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to, I have to put a video up today. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then it just dawned on me. I was like, I can talk about this. I can talk about what I'm going through and maybe someone out there relates. And if you don't, it's okay. Or if you do, it's, it's okay. You're not alone. I'm, I'm right there with you. And we can talk about it down below in the comments if you want to. But yeah, right now I'm, I'm just hoping to make it I, will, I mean, I will make it. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's not like I'm going anywhere, but I just, I just have to get to Christmas Day. Christmas morning is my goal, and that's, that's when I can usually just be like, <sighs> okay, we got this. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, this isn't the only time that I go through these moments. I have anxiety all year round. It's super, super fun. But it's not as bad as it is during the holiday season. And I think it's just because, like I said, the hustle and bustle of everything. There's more people out everywhere. Stress and anxiety is, it just, it involves everything. Like, and it can just take you over. And anything can trigger it. Um, any stressful situation can trigger it. And, and some days I just, I just want to sit and cry. Like, I just... I'll just sit and cry and, and my husband's like, what's, what's wrong? And I'm like, I just, I just want to cry. He's like, but why? I'm like, don't worry about it. Just leave me here with my tears. It's fine. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> just, just let me cry. Just let me cry it out. I'll be fine. But for the main event of this video, I also can sometimes relax with a book to get out of my head. And I have just not even quite a handful, just like three or four books. Uh, well, two, two books. Well, it's actually ser two series that, those are the only series that are books that I will reread or re-listen to, actually re-listen to, because I love the narrators I love the story and it can just take me out of my head. So those are, of course, the third series by Charlie Cochet. I'll put the first book up here. This is Hell and High, Hell and High Water. Uh, this is the first book in the third series. I absolutely love this series. It's, I don't know, it's so dear to my heart. I love these two guys, Dex and Sloan. Um, they are the stars of this series, although you ha we have the other guys that get their own books as well. But Dex and Sloan are my absolute favorite, and they are in the first four books. I'm actually re-listening right now because that's what I want to, that's what I want to listen to. Um, and that's the only thing that can kind of get me out of my head. I have, of course, my December TBR but I, this is, this is what I need right now. I need the third series in my head. I'm on book four right now, which is, I just started it today. Rise and Fall is the fourth book. And it's, it's not the last book that Dex and Sloan are in for sure, but it's the, the last book until you start getting to the other, other guys and their relationships, which are super fun. In fact, the next book, which is, um, Against the Grain, that is Kale and Ash's story. And next to Dex and Sloan, their story is my absolute favorite. A absolute favorite. It's like, I'm probably going to um, listen to this book and then listen to the next book and then switch to my next series that I like to listen to, which is the Charlie Davidson series by Dorinda Jones. Love 
Love this series so much. Um, Thirds is a male male romance series. Um, it's a it that also has shifters in it. Um, so it's sort of like paranormal, as paranormal romance, I guess, male male romance. This one is not. This is a regular romance series. Uh, Charlie Davidson is the Grim Reaper. She can actually see the dead. So she can see, like, if someone passes, she can, and they're, she can't see all of them. Only, only when they're, like, either lost, um, or they're seeking her out. Because she is basically the light. She is the light that if you, if you are lost in between, um, and you don't just automatically go up to heaven, she is where you need, she is where you, you go, or, you seek her out and she kind of helps you what whatever is holding you back from going straight to heaven she helps you get past that um but th their spirits have to pass through her so she sees everything that they have gone through in their lives it's just it's so cool and interesting i i love it and she's she's also in love with the devil's son and that just makes it even more fun and more interesting. So the first book is called First Grave on the Right. I'll put a picture of it right here. I've talked about this before, maybe one time before. Um, I love this series so much. And it actually just ended, I believe, last year. Um, she came out with the 13th book. And um, that, was, that was pretty much it. But she does have a book coming out next year. Um, you'll hear, hear more about that in my next video. But... Um, she does have a part of this series coming out. It's not like the Charlie Davidson series, but it connects to this series, and I'm super excited about it. But those two series, I listen to them on repeat when when I feel like I need it, like though because they they just they get me out of my head. I love Dex and Sloan, their chemistry together, just them two together, everything about them. I love their story. And I can I can just get out of my head and just listen to them. The narrator is so good. It's Mark Westfield. He does such a good job on giving these characters voices, and and that just that just really makes an audiobook is is the narration, and he just nails it with these characters. And I think that's why I love it so much. And then with the Charlie Davidson series. What is her name? Um, she is a phenomenal narrator. Lorelai King. Oh, she is phenomenal, y'all. Um, I highly, highly recommend if you want to check out this, this series, either one of these. Um, her, her voice, her, the voice that she gives to Charlie is just perfect. It is perfect, Charlie. Like, you can just picture Charlie in your head and how she is. She's a a very funny character. Um, she's beautiful and, and she's humble and she brings that out so well in this in this character. I I can't talk highly enough about her narration. So I highly, highly recommend both these series on audio. I mean they're great in a book form if that's what you prefer, but the narration really brings these characters to life. Another book, I have not reread re this book or nor have I seen the movie, but Debbie bought me this book when I was going through my little rough patch in 2017, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. And I know a lot of people don't like this book, but I loved it. It took me away from whatever I was going through. I couldn't get enough of it. I Every chance I got, I picked it up and read it, and it was it was just so nice to have something to go to if I needed it. Um, and I it it like had me looking forward to it. Like if if at that time I was still you know going to a job, I was driving to work. Um, my job was stressful. The job the drive was stressful, um, and. When I would get home, I would purposely leave it at home. I could have brought it to work and read it, but I would purposely leave it at home because I was looking forward to it. That would give me something to look forward to um, or when I got home. 
to read. But I really enjoyed this book. It's um, sort of like a Groundhog's Day sort of scenario where she um, has to keep reliving the same day, um, but maybe try to change the events to she I think she has a, some sort of lesson that she has to learn um I just thought it was so good I love like I couldn't wait to see what the next what her, the next day was going to be even though it was sort of repetitious and there was always I couldn't wait to see what's what little things she was going to try to change or what she was going to try to do to make herself better a better person um I of course didn't like the way it ended I was hoping for something better um but I mean, you can't always have the happy endings, right? But um, I really liked it. And I, I it, like I said, it gave me something to look forward to. And then lastly, my current read that I am so enjoying and I can't wait to get to it. And it's getting me out of my head is Arctic Heat by Annabeth Albert. This is actually the third book in the series. Oh, I lost my... Kept the... <laughs> Kept the page, kept the page. This is actually the third book in the series, but I you can read you can definitely read it by itself. I'm I'm not having any problems like catching on to the characters or anything. I don't know if um, any of the other characters I've run into are in the first two books. I don't know. I don't know anything about the series. Um, but this is a male male romance, and uh, it's it's about um, let's see we have Owen Owen Han. And he is sort of a retired finance major guy. I don't know. Finance guy. I don't know. He was into finance. And, um, but he, he's still young. I think he's still in his, his like later 30s. I think he's like 30. I think he mentioned like 36 or something like that. But um, he, he retired from doing that. Um, and he, he was able to like save up some stocks and stuff like that to give him some time off. Eventually, he will have to work again, but while he's not working, he wanted to volunteer as a ranger. Um, it's been on, like, his bucket list. He had cancer in, like, when he was younger, um, and it just made him realize that he wanted to live his life to the fullest. So he made himself a bucket list, and this was one of the things that he wanted to do. So he goes to Alaska to volunteer to be a ranger. Another ranger there who is, that's his job, um, his name is Quill, I believe, and I think that's, yes, Quill, and um, he is sort of your rugged, I'm gonna lose my mark again, sort of your rugged ranger type guy, and um, he's like attracted to him like straight away. At first, at first I was like, is the attraction too fast? But but then it's it's really not. It's really not. He's a to, very to himself type of guy. And he's not like into one night stands or he's not into like dating apps or anything like that. He rathers his own company. Owen is really interested in him. So he's trying to, you know, like not seduce him, but just open him up a little bit more to to maybe a little a little fun adventure while he's there and Quill's like having nothing to do with it but I'm loving their little back and forth banter and um just Annabeth Albert's writing I she's one of my favorite male male romance authors she wrote the um out of uniform series I love that oh that's another one that's another series that I've re-listened to I'm not the whole thing though that's probably why I didn't mention it but um, the first book, uh, which is Off Base, I believe. I think it's in here. Of course it is. Yes. Off Base and Add Attention. The first two books are my favorite. The other ones are, are good. To, I haven't finished the series. I think she's still writing them. But um, the first two books are my my favorite. I've re-listened to them before. So that's, that's a good series as well. I love her writing. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm just enjoying the two our two characters and the writing and I'm not far I'm like only like 82 pages in but I'm really loving it and I look forward to it like every evening after like once I get in bed or even like if I go 
get in the tub and soak a little bit. I, like, I can't wait to at least read a chapter while I'm soaking. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, I've been looking forward to reading this and I've been enjoying reading it. And it's another book that I can say is kind of getting me out of my head right now. Okay, y'all, I'm going to shut up because I could just go on and on about this. But I just wanted to sit down and talk with y'all today and mention these these books um, because I truly love especially those two series those always like help and like I said I I that's that's what I wanted to listen to I wanted to listen to the thirds series like I can't I can't get into anything else right now that's that's like all I want to listen to so I'm just going with it but anyway I hope y'all are having a wonderful Christmas so far um, we still have five days to go but um, I'm, I think I'm going to take a little bit of next week off. I'm not going to stress myself out to put a video up on Tuesday. Tuesday is Christmas Eve. I have a lot going on on Tuesday. Um, I have a lot this weekend. My nephew is in town. So we're going to be doing a lot. So I'm not going to stress myself out to have a video up on Tuesday. But I will have one up for next Friday. Um, which will probably be my most anticipated for 2020, and which I'm still kind of working on. Um, which is which is kind of what I wanted to do today, but then I was like, no, I don't want to rush it. So that'll uh, probably uh, be be that'll probably be up next week. Um, but yeah, just also just want to let y'all know I wouldn't have a video on Tuesday just due to it being Christmas Eve and Christmas, and if for some reason. I decide to vlog, that may go up next Friday. But we'll see. We'll see how the week goes, see how Christmas goes um, to decide what, what I'm going to do. I don't know. So next Friday will be a surprise. It'll either be my tw most anticipated 2020 books coming out or it could be a vlog. I don't know yet. We'll see. But anyway, thank y'all so much for, for listening to me ramble. Um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for listening. It truly, truly means a lot. Um, just to, I know I'm not actually like talking to y'all. I, I mean, I am, but Bella's here. I'm kind of talking to her too, but, <laughs> uh, but it helps. It helps just to, just to calm me. And, um, but anyway, I hope y'all are doing well and I hope y'all have a merry, merry Christmas. And I will see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.